monster. Another Keep Me the Modest report tonight about a working class town in California we've told you about before. A town where charges of corruption and fraud have left taxpayers outraged. The former police chief of Bell, California, made a whopping salary almost half a million dollars a year before a corruption case that brought down eight leaders in the city government who now face criminal charges. The former chief wasn't charged in the case, and believe it or not, now he says he wants even more money from the city and the state. He's suing to double his already large pension. That is adding major insult to injury for the city's taxpayers, who ended up uh, footing the bill for a level of alleged corruption in local government that's hard to imagine. Kyung La reports. A 22-year veteran of the Bell Police Force, Sergeant James Cochran, is reminded of the corruption that crushed his town at every turn he takes. Boarded up buildings, vacant homes and lots, and storefront after storefront for lease. But nowhere is a reminder more stark than his own police station, where he says his former police chief was there for only one reason, greed. He was here for his personal gain. He was not here to better the community. Certainly not here to better us. He's talking about former police chief Randy Adams, who was pulling in a whopping $457,000 a year for a police force with only 30 officers, way more than top cops in neighboring Los Angeles, Chicago, or even New York. Cash put in his pocket by a city manager and others who were paying themselves inflated salaries. The city manager taking home more than a million dollars. <laughs> This was a reaction when the public found out. Outrage, anger boiled over. Prosecutors nabbed eight city leaders, saying they used public funds like a personal piggy bank, looting the working class city of millions of dollars. They faced criminal corruption charges. Chief Randy Adams wasn't charged because Adams didn't directly control the city's money. But even the judge wondered in court, I don't know why he's not a defendant in this case. So where is Adams today? He lives in Simi Valley, an upper-class L.A. suburb 50 miles northwest of Bell, just off of Country Club Drive in a gated community. His five-bedroom, five-bath, $800,000 home overlooks a picturesque golf course. Disgusting. And the fact that he is living this lavish lifestyle on the backs of us. Bell resident Denise Rodarte calls Adams the one who got away. Arrogant, cocky, criminal. If I can find the dictionary where it says corrupt police chief, whatever, his picture will be on it. He's the epitome of what is wrong in this country. She says that because of these emails from 2009 exchanged between Adams and Angela Spaccia, Bell's former assistant city administrator. Adams, negotiating the terms of his new job as Bell police chief, wrote, I am looking forward to seeing you and taking all of Bell's money. Okay, just a share of it. Spaccia replies, LOL. Well, you can take your share of the pie just like us. We will all get fat together. The salary quietly approved by the former city manager. My jaw drops when you see it. Doug Wilmore, Bell's new city manager, says he still can't believe what happened and what's still happening. Talking to me in the rundown city council chambers, Wilmore says walking away with that half million dollar paycheck wasn't enough. The former police chief is now suing the city of Bell for what city sources calculate would amount to $600,000 in severance and unused sick days. From this small city, from this poor community, to then have it revealed, get fired, and it actually comes back for, for severance. It's, it's incredible. It's outrageous. But seeking severance isn't apparently enough. Randy Adams wants more money from the state of California for his pension. Adams is also suing the state to double his pension to half a million dollars a year for the rest of his life. How? His oversized salary in Bell. That was his last job, his highest paying job. And even though he only held the position for a year, he says his pension should be based on that pay. Hi, Chief Randy Adams. I'm Kyung Law from CNN. We caught up with Randy Adams in Simi Valley. The people of the city of Bell say you milk them for a salary that was extraordinarily high, and now you're trying to do the same thing with the state. Well, uh, I disagree, of course, with uh, those types of characterizations, and when one day I'm able to tell my complete side of the story, I think you'll see that there is a completely different side to that story. Unfortunately, I can't really uh, talk at length about it, but uh, that's the situation. Did you think you deserved to make double what the LAPD 
Adams. I've made all the Chief comments Mayor. I can make at this time. While Adams would not elaborate on camera, I did manage to speak to his attorney by telephone, who says that Adams is a good cop, a lifelong public servant, who does deserve to double his pension to half a million dollars a year for that one year of service in Bell. But the people who run California's pension system say absolutely not. What is he asking for? Basically, he's trying to double his pension from $19,000 a month, which is far surpassing almost anyone else in our system as a retiree, to about $38,000 a month. Does he deserve $38,000 a month from the taxpayers? The, the taxpayers are outraged whenever anyone does something like trying to use fraud and deceit and hide the, the way in which they got paid. And you don't deserve it, and it's not allowed. A proposed decision by a state board agrees, rejecting Adams' appeal to increase his pension. But Adams is appealing. Inside his gated community, he awaits a final decision. And Ken Lodge joining us now from Los Angeles. Ken, uh, do people of Bell uh, believe that Adams only wanted to take the police chief job for a short time so he could boost his pension? Well, they believe it's twofold. In the short term, Wolf, they believe that it was that inflated paycheck. But in the long term, absolutely. It's called spiking your pension. You just take a job to increase what the state will pay you for the rest of your life. Juking the system is what it's also referred to, but the state pension board also agrees. That's why they're fighting it. Why did they pick Adams for the job in the first place? Well, it, it's all who you know, right? Uh, Wolf, in this situation, the, the documents appear to show that it was who he was friends with, and that's what got him into the city of Bell, and that he was merely just trying to cushion that pension pay. But the people say, hey, we don't want this guy. We didn't think he was anything special. And the state agreeing with that, they believe this is a backroom deal. That's why they're also fighting it. What a report. Uh, Ken Law, thanks for doing it. Appreciate it very, very much. Just ahead, the Google searches that